All right, we have news coming in. India slamming Trudeau's charges against India. In fact, as we see the Ministry of External Affairs saying, we reject Canada's false allegations. MEA says, no evidence shared by Canada since September 2023. In fact, the Ministry of External Affairs claiming, no proof has been shared on Niger's killing so far. MEA says, told charges, the affair, the charge the affair, that we had no faith in the Trudeau government. MEA saying shared information on Vishnoi gang with Canada. Trudeau government responsible for diplomatic crisis. This is the Ministry of External Affairs making a clear statement that no evidence has been shared with India on Niger's killing despite all the allegations mounted on India by Trudeau. Let's listen in. India-Canada ties, economic ties are very strong and vibrant. We have a lot of Canadian pension funds who are invested here. We have a large Indian diaspora in Canada, which maintains, which is the which is the bridge through which we maintain very strong people-to-people -people links with Canada. We have a large, possibly the largest cohort of international students in Canada as well. Uh, uh, we hope, you know, the this particular crisis has been precipitated by Trudeau government's baseless allegations. There are 26 extradition requests pending with the Canadian side. Um, these are over the last decade or more. Uh, along with it, there are several provisional arrest requests which are also pending uh, with the Canadian side of several criminals. Uh, some of the notable ones who have been charged with terror and related crimes, I would like to name them. They are uh, Gurjeet Singh, Gurjinder Singh, Gurpreet Singh, Lakhbir Singh Landa, and Arshdeep Singh Gill. They are wanted in terror charges, as I told you, and also some related charges. We have shared security-related information with the Canadian government regarding gang members, including uh, those of uh, uh, Lawrence Bishnoi gang, uh, and requested them to arrest them uh, and or to take due action as per law. So far, while we have exchanged and given these information, so far no action has been taken by the Canadian side on our request. This is uh, very serious. Uh, also, I would like to say that you know we find it really strange that now it, the the people who we asked to be deported, on whom we ask that action be taken, we are being told that they are the ones, or we we are RCMP is blaming um, Indian side that these people are committing crimes in Canada for which you are to be blamed. So this is a contradiction in terms which we don't understand. We have made our position very clear that serious charges have been leveled against us, but so far, as we said in our press release a few days back, and it was reiterated yet again yesterday or today morning, earlier hours uh, this morning, uh, so far Canada has not given any evidence uh, in support of the serious, very serious allegations that they've leveled against India and against Indian diplomats. We also see there is a pattern. The pattern is motivated by political considerations uh, on the part of uh, the Canadian Trudeau uh, government. Uh, and uh, there is also, as we have said, uh, there is a clear pattern to smear India uh, uh, for reasons best known uh, to them. Let me cut across to Shivani Sharma joining us for more on that. Shivani, this is really heated up. Of course, an uh, MEA statement at this point makes it clear that India has received no communication on the kind of evidence that Canada set, claims to have uh, with regards to India's involvement, allegedly in Niger's killing, right? Now, the MEA making this official statement, do elaborate for us what more has he said as part of that uh, statement he's made. Nabila, we know that MEA has already brought out a number of statements and they have already said that whatever Canada is saying is baseless. All the charges are falling flat. And now at uh, a presser, the MEA spokesperson Ranveer Jaiswal has once again clarified that Canada is making uh, fake allegations against them and India has been asking about the criminals who are there uh, in Canada for their extradition. They, he has also given a number of names of these criminals and these are also the ones who are associated with the Bishnoi gang. But uh, Canada has been giving them shelters and not only these criminals but the, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, separatists uh, including the Khalistanis who have been running anti-India agenda. A lot of them 
have been named and uh, they have been uh, uh, indian government has been asking canada to hand them over to india for investigation and further action but uh, there's no action that's what he has said and in the recent remarks by the prime minister justin trudeau we know that at 1 am uh, the clarification had already come in a sharply worded response by the nda and this has again been reiterated at the uh, official press conference by the joint secretary the spokesperson ranveer jaiswal where he says that uh, canadian prime minister has been making all these fake charges to which there is no evidence present and he has also said that in a number of other cases also they have been uh, claiming that uh, the diplomats of india were uh, told to go uh, from canada but uh, this uh, happened only after india decided to call them back to india so a lot of contradictions that canada is making were highlighted at this press conference navila right shivani thank you very much